let's say a person just finished their computer science fundamental what are the next steps to become a de game developer? So they just finished their computer science Fundamental. fundamentals. And then what the next step to become a game developer? Yeah, so I would say the next step um, that I, you know, usually would tell people trying to go into the gaming industry is um, you have to get projects on your resume. Like I said, I think one of the biggest things that got me, even, you know. Like, even for my friend to recommend me, I don't think he would have referred me if I didn't already have, you know, a shipped game on my resume. So, um, I think the biggest thing that you can do is, um, you know, get some projects on there. And I think one of the things that intimidates people is they think these projects have to be these like, super huge undertakings that'll take multiple years. That is, like, the opposite of how I would do it. When I give recommendations, you know, I think what you should do is you should start small, you know, I was recently talking to uh, a student about this and um, she was asking me, you know, what she should do. And I said, okay, you know, pick an engine, go to Unity or Unreal, you know, spend a month doing their tutorials, just get an understanding of, you know, what it is that, how these engines work and like how you can use it. And then just pick a game. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. It should be as simple as you could think of for your first one, because games tend to just get more complicated. You think no. it'll be easy and then it takes forever. So, um, you know, you want to try to get it like the first one, that like, something you could do in like a month. So like start with something, something like a basic platformer, you know, a, 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 super, a, a more complicated version of Snake. Do something interesting. Um, I would try to stick in the 3D gaming space if you can. Um, but yeah, start simple and then just kind of build from there. And I would try to like get out a, d a new project every two months if you can and then like y you could build after that and once you get more comfortable with it then you can start doing the six month and the year long projects and such. Uh, while you were doing the project did you have a mentor or did you use a community to ask questions? Yeah so um, so obviously when I was in school there was you know other students who I would interact with and, and you know reading through textbooks and talking to other students um, once I got into the professional world, like I said, I actively sought out like gaming communities, so I or game developer communities. So I went to a game developers meetup. I would go to the game developers conference every year, um, which is a huge, you know, um, I don't know if it's, I think it's an international conference now um, that happens in San Francisco most years. Um, and, you know, that one is like a great resource. They have all kind of indie developers, professional developer, you know, AAA developers all in one spot. So great place to network. Uh, and then once you get, you know, a little bit of a network going, you know a couple people to talk to, those are definitely your best asset, right? Um, and ideally, I personally like working on teams with people. When you're first starting off, I would work on solo projects because you're learning. Um, but at a certain point, when you start wanting to do a larger project, if you want something that looks good, has you know good animation and art, has you know good voice acting, good story, good UI, right? Like there are people, you know, games. It's not like you're, you know, I'm a gameplay engineer, but there's so many other roles, right? Like if I wanted to build a game, I couldn't do the art and the gameplay engineering and the UI and the marketing, and so you want to get a team, right? I think. Um, you know, I think the biggest asset I had in developing my career was probably, you know, after college, of course, um, was the fact that I was able to work on an indie team and I was working with, you know, gaming professionals, so they taught me a ton.